not sure if you've noticed, but there's enough out there in the world to keep us angry pretty much all the time. People, politics, circumstances, attitudes, you name it, and it's out there. Hi, I'm Bernie Diamond, and welcome again to Fresh. Anger often raises its ugly head when we're under pressure. Someone looks at you the wrong way and boom, you bite their head off. Of course, sometimes anger is warranted. When someone tells lies about you to others, are you entitled to be angry? Well, sure. And let's not forget, though he's slow to anger, even God eventually gets angry. But there are two things that we do in anger that we should never do. When you're angry, don't let that anger make you sin and don't stay angry all day. Don't give the devil a way to defeat you. When we don't control our anger, its first act of dominance over us is to cause us to sin, to lash out, to take revenge, to fight fire with fire, to stoop down to the level of the one who caused it in the first place. The second thing it does is hang over us for the rest of the day. And in some people, where unforgiveness grows into a root of bitterness for the rest of their lives. And that doesn't make sense. Possibly the most influential person in your life is going to be the one whom you refuse to forgive, right? And all of that opens a way for the devil to plunder your life and take you into a downward tailspin. Word of warning, don't give the devil an opening through your anger. That's God's word fresh for you today. Powerful stuff. Now, before we part ways, do you mind if I ask you for a favor? You see, I'd love to hear what sorts of topics you'd like me to cover in upcoming episodes of Fresh. So to have your say, stop by at teachingtopics.org to share your thoughts with me. Hey, who knows how many others might be blessed through your God-inspired ideas. Again, to have your say, visit teachingtopics.org.